Howdy everyone! In this video I will disassemble this young new 50mm f1.8 cannon lens. And the reason why is because I found out there are some dust particles inside of the front element. As you see there. So first things first, we remove the lens mount element. And be careful because there is a ribbon cable connected to the metal pads. This we have to remove because it's going to the aperture union on the back part of the lens. Once it's done, the manual focus ring we unlock with these three screws. And the last one. Now we are able to take out the full assembly. If we un unlock the four screws, we take it apart and we can separate the front and the back lens group. So one thing we can remove is this aperture unit. It just clicks out. Be careful when you do this. And yeah, so this is aperture unit. We can manually test it. Yes, it's working. It should not have any dust or oil or anything. Uh -huh. So the back part, back group is here. You just clean it with a blower and some lens cleaning brush. So these are dedicated cleaning cleaning tools made by Ulanzi, but you can use any brand, it will be fine. Yeah, just blow, 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 blow. So I try to not scrub the lens at all. So if it's possible, I use only my blower and nothing else. So this is the front part with the manual focus ring. Just try to remember the positions. It's important when you put them back together. All right, looks like we're done. So I keep the blower ready because maybe there will be more dust. Uh, I still see something. But now it's look good. Yeah, not bad. So I'm not a professional lens screen or anything like that. But this Yongnu is a cheap Chinese shit lens. So I thought, you know, like I, I don't have too much to lose. Now I start the assembly. I just put back the... What is that? Aperture unit? Yeah. Put them together. Okay, so I decided I don't have too much to lose if I mess up something with this lens. I certainly wouldn't do it with a more expensive or more complex lens, like a zoom lens with image stable laser and all kind of shit. But this is a most simple construction, I guess. Maybe just a body cap lens for micro first. Maybe only those are more simple than, than this one. We play with the ribbon cable, put it back. Yeah, 
plug it in. Now this could be challenging. I'm using a toolpick because I don't, I don't want to make any damage on the, on the ribbon cable. If it's possible, I want to use this lens. Put the back part, yeah, lens mount, cheap plastic. But actually, for the price, this lens makes quite, quite good images. I mean, I'm not a professional photographer, you know. And the f1.8 aperture after the kit lens, it was really, really amazing. I think it's done. Time to try it out. This is a Canon R50. That's my budget. So I'm not rich and not professional. Okay, so I'm using a lens adapter here because it's made for EF mount. Right there, click. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, let's turn it on. Yeah, looks like I didn't mess up. Okay, if I put it in video mode, video mode, then I can check the live movement of the aperture because that's the one thing you can mess up with the cleaning. Oh, there is the aperture. Now I'm in mean movie mode, manual, mo manual movie mode, and I'm changing the aperture and it's moving smoothly. Smoothly and fast. Really good. Yeah, the cleaning was successful. And I didn't break anything inside. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time.